victory in the Arbor Wilds. The Archdemon might have been a real threat to our army, but it flew off once we turned the tide. It is still out there, however. I wonder what Corypheus plans now. We'll deal with whatever he throws at us. Do not underestimate Corypheus. He is powerful, and you have yet to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. But he will come. You will get your chance. We'll face Corypheus together. There is not another man I would be more proud to fight beside. Not long ago, this was impossible to imagine. You, the man I love, victory close at hand. The time has come to consider what will come next. I don't care what's next, as long as we're together. And if I am named Divine? We can still be together. Can we? I'm not so certain. You haven't lost me yet. Finally, a place for the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. It's always wonderful to speak with you. So you're a candidate for Divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. The Chantry needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. I think you'd make an excellent choice. Thank you. Let's hope the Chantry clerics agree. That's enough for now. We shall speak again soon. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. The consequences of our dance continue to echo, Lady Florian. Uh. Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune.
She respects only the shallow demands of court. She must seek higher purpose. Florian de Chalon, you will be cloistered within the Chantry. Boredom, your worship. The sentence you have imposed is boredom. Mistress Pullen of Sarnia is accused of aiding and abetting the Red Templars in the Dales. She sold a quarry to them for a handsome sum. They used the quarry to grow red lyrium by enslaving townspeople. The only extenuating circumstance, Mistress Pullen was procuring supplies to keep the remaining townspeople fed. We can't ignore your crimes, but it seems you had a noble purpose. My crime was misjudgment. The land sale was meant to bring prosperity in hard times. Surely it was clear you were selling to the enemy. We were starving, and they told me they'd reopen the mines. Selling the quarry so hastily was a mistake. I did what I could to rectify it. You made decisions without knowledge of whom you dealt with. That makes villains of anyone. You're free to leave, but don't appear before us again. No, your worship. Never. Thank you. I heard reports of the events at the Temple of Mathal, Inquisitor. It sounds magnificent. I hope we can explore it fully once Corypheus is defeated. The Temple of Mithal held knowledge safe for untold centuries. It would be tragic to lose it. Indeed. The Maker made the Elves, as he did all children of this world. Any knowledge preserved by ancient Elves in that temple could help us understand him better. But of course, all that must wait until Corypheus himself is defeated. Was there anything else, Inquisitor? Farewell, revered mother. Farewell. Inquisitor, thank the Maker you're here. Morrigan chased after her son into the Illuvian. She was terrified. A son? Morrigan has a son? A boy of ten years. She said he activated the mirror and then she ran into it. I've never seen Morrigan like that. You must go after her. I will find help, Inquisitor. Wait, this isn't the crossroads. This is the Fade. How did the Illuvian lead here? Can it go anywhere? Morrigan! 
Go back. I must find Kieran before it's too late. Why would Kieran do this? How could he do this? We stand in the Fade. To direct the Illuvian here would require immense power. If he is lost to me now after all I have sacrificed... We'll find him, Morrigan. He can't be far. The Fade is infinite. He could literally be anywhere. Whatever happens to him now, it is my doing. I set him on this path. Please, help me look, Inquisitor. Just a little longer. This a surprise. So this is all some kind of family reunion. <laughs> Mother, daughter, grandson. It rather warms the heart, does it not? Kieran is not your grandson. Let him go. As if I were holding the boy hostage. She's always been ungrateful, you see. Ungrateful? I know how you plan to extend your life, wicked crone. You will not have me, and you will not have my son! Oh, be a good lad, and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? <gasps> you... Armathal. Well, that was unexpected. You, of all people, should expect the unexpected by now. I'm sorry, Mother. I heard her calling to me. She said now was the time. I do not understand. Once I was but a woman, crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mythal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then you carry Mythal inside you? She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mythal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed. Shouting to the heavens, harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. If Mythal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mythal came to me. 
It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth, and I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged. Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. I presume you know what we're up against. Better than you could possibly imagine. So will you help us? Once I have what I came for. No. I will not allow it. He carries a piece of what once was, snatched from the jaws of darkness. You know this. He is not your pawn, Mother. I will not let you use him. Have you not used him? Was that not your purpose, the reason you agreed to his creation? That was them. Now he... He is my son. Flemeth extends her life by possessing the bodies of her daughters, Inquisitor. That was the fate she intended for me. I thwarted her, and now she intends to have Kieran instead. Wait, the way she talked about Kieran. I am not the only one carrying the soul of a being long thought lost. He is more than that, Mother. As am I. Yet do you hear me complain? Our destinies are not so easily avoided, dear girl. Allah, oh, uh, I have to. You do not belong to her, Kieran. Neither of us do. If Kieran is so special, why did you wait until now to come for him? I did not know where he was. Morrigan cleverly hid him from me. Until now. <gasps> Twas the well. Be thankful you did not drink. Imagine, bound to your dear mother for eternity. <laughs> You're going to steal the body of a young boy. If my daughter believes it, then it must be so. Kieran, I... As you wish, hear my proposal, dear girl. Let me take the land, and you are free of me forever. I will never interfere with or harm you again. Or keep the lad with you, and you will never be safe from me. I will have my due. He returns with me. Decided so quickly. Do whatever you wish. Take over my body now if you must, but Kieran will be free of your clutches. I am many things, but I will not be the mother you were to me. A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. As for you, Inquisitor, there is an ancient altar deep within a shaded wood. Go to it. Summon the dragon that is its guardian. Master it in combat, and it is yours to command against Corypheus. Fail, 
and die. Wait! Are you all right, Kieran? You are not hurt. I feel lonely. She wanted the old god soul all along. Is it worth reminding myself that perhaps I do not know everything after all? My mother has the soul of an elven goddess, or whatever Mithal truly was, and her plans are unknown to me. You truly had no idea what she was. I knew she kept the truth from me. I even suspected she was not truly human, but this... I always thought the so-called elven gods were little more than glorified rulers, but now... I have doubt. And doubt is... an uncomfortable thing, Inquisitor. I suppose I should be thankful you drank from the well. Eternal servitude to mother would not be my first choice. So Kieran had the soul of an old god. Taken from the Archdemon at the final battle of the Fifth Blight. Yes, he has never known anything else. I'm uncertain what effect this will have on him. But why did you... I told you at the temple, the magic of old must be preserved. No matter how feared. Kieran had a destiny, and now... It is in Flemeth's hands. I suppose we shall see what she does with it. For what it's worth, I think you did the right thing. Did I? She was testing me. And I cannot tell whether I passed. Mother said, you must summon a dragon at an ancient altar. Do you know where that is? I think so. It's a place dedicated to Mithar. As, no doubt, is the guardian you must battle. Pray my mother has not led you astray, Inquisitor. She is not above doing so for her own amusement.
We'll be spread thin until the rest of our forces return from the Arbor Wilds. Of course. It's here. I can feel it. Are you certain it's still in one piece? Sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come. Without mercy, without fear. I'm here, Flemeth. Just as you told me. If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it.
it's here. I can feel it. Are you certain it's still in one piece? I'm sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will... I mean...
believed it. Why did it fly off? Will it come back? It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. All you need now is Corypheus and BAM! Dragon fight. <laughs> 